G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Usually I would say that this is the afternoon session but uh, I got so much in the morning session that it's still the morning. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's kick things off again with an absolutely beautiful turkey wing. It is of course the Indo-Pacific Arc Shell. I have been noticing a few pieces of these uh, sea bushes around. I'm not very interested in collecting them, but I know some people use them for beach decor. Um, that wasn't what I squatted down for. I want this guy. My goodness, he has got some lovely dark brown on him, doesn't he? This guy is a land snail rather than a sea snail. It is the big and banded snail. I actually got like a quite a few nice ones of these in the last episode. And uh, yes, I do want this guy as well. Got myself another turkey wing. I will remove that later probably. Oh, there are potentially several goodies here. They are, the tip on this guy looks nice. Oh, he looks nice on top. Ooh, hoo, hoo. There is a lot of very faded Campbell's strombuses around. A lot of them missing their tips as well. I just haven't been finding a lot of good ones lately, but uh, yeah, that's a very nice one. It is a type of conch shell. And uh, my goodness, the, uh, the turkey wings from this side of the beach are just absolutely stunning. Look at the dark coloration on him. And uh, my goodness, do I want this one? Stretch, yes, maybe. He is a little bit rough, but it is a scary murex. That is a sorted moon snail. Found a lot of them last time as well. I'm probably gonna, ooh, look at him. <gasps> I did not even notice him when I squatted down. Oh, look at him, everyone. It's a little baby Baylor shell. He's got like little points on him too. He's got a fairly nice color, a couple of patterns as well. I've been finding a lot of these on this side of the beach. I must have gotten about four good ones in the last episode as well. Okay, Baylor shell and a little gray sorted moon snail. Oh, I was hoping to find one of these today. Actually, I was hoping to find quite a lot of them. It is a mud whelk, a type of mangrove snail. Means I'm getting closer to the mangroves. Uh, yeah, I might pick up a couple, uh, like <laughs> as many as I see. You might see a lot of these at the end. Oh, yes. And there's another nice um, Indo-Pacific arc shell right behind it. These are so good on this side of the beach, but that's not what made me go, ooh. Look at him, he's nice and big. Oh, and he's whole, of course. Wow. He's got like the, like a circular, like a spherical knobbly tip. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's probably one of the biggest and um, nicest, like those two things together. One of these I found from this beach. Wow. It is a beautiful zebra volute. They're always this lovely burnt orange brown color from here rather than the cream color from down south or, you know, where I go shelling. Oh my goodness. Okay. Super excited. That could be the favorite already. Is that little guy whole? Oh, he is whole. He is very, very cute with those nice markings. It is a lovely little Hanes turban. And I just saw this guy. Yes, we're going to take him. I don't see terribly many of them here. It is a worm shell, a slit worm shell. Even though it's called a worm shell, it's actually made by a snail of some kind. And I do want this guy. Yeah, he's actually pretty whole. They never have their tip. It is a mud whelk. Oh my goodness, I'm blanking on the specific name for him. I'm just going to call him mud whelk because it's just not coming to me. My goodness, everyone, I'm not even like, I'm not even close to the mangroves yet. This is going to be like the second or third nice one of these already. There's going to be a lot of these in here uh, in this episode because I just, I really like the land snails. There we go. Yeah, like literally two steps on. Look at him. He's wonderful as well. Also, I'm just guessing that these guys are the big and banded snail. I'm not actually 100% sure. There's also the chance that these are actually like two different species and I just can't like, uh, know them well enough to tell the difference so it's just my best guess guys it is a very pretty pink on him oh he's uh he's pretty unusual got some pink got some uh orange on him that's probably discoloration from the mangroves around here they turn a lot of shells orange this one's actually got all of his spines i found a couple from here that don't have very many spines on him this is the multi-spined cockle they're just very very short spines on these guys it's just a little limpet this time here we go. I think I've been calling him the common keyhole limpet. What, my dude? You're just sitting pretty up there. Oh, and he doesn't even... Okay, he's got like a tiny predator drill hole right there, but the rest of him is absolutely fine and lovely. It is a long-tailed spindle. They've just been showing up here more and more lately. Yes, are you like beautiful? Oh my goodness, he might have the best color so far. Also, I hope that water wasn't gross. It's probably fine. Yeah, like in the last episode, I found a couple of uh, land snails as well, but they weren't as like nicely colored as this. Oh my goodness. Um, he might still like look so vibrant with that color because he is so wet inside. It has been raining here, but uh, hopefully he keeps that color even when he's dry. Curved half of a commercial scallop. 
Yeah, I don't think he's too bad. We'll take him as well. Ooh, right next to the uh, piece of a broken baler shell, we've got a little top shell right here. Here's a cute little spotted strawberry top shell. Here's the first one of these today. Although I have seen a lot of faded and old ones, this one is missing its tip. Hopefully I'll find some better ones in the mangroves because this is a mangrove snail. It is the Hercules Club Welk, a type of mud whelk. Oh, I like the colour on that one. Yeah, and he's whole as well. Um, I'm sorry, he's so sandy now. I do find these guys from time to time. It is a burnt edged rock shell, a type of droop shell. Usually they are white and uh, with, uh, with reddish or black uh, like marks on their little points there. This one's turned orange from the mangroves. Oh, I'm gonna take this guy. He's got kind of a nice color. Ooh, oh, there we go. Got the uh, incrustation off of him. It is a lovely little jeweled dog whelk. It is a type of nutmeg shell, or I should say nutmeg shells are a type of dog whelk. What? He is so heckin' cute. Oh my goodness. So, uh, it's a neurite. Neurites pop up from time to time, but not usually this species. You usually see the bigger lined neurites or the smaller violet neurites. This one is a chameleon neurite. I mean, I think so. He's a bit faded, so it's hard to tell. Oh, I haven't collected one of these in this episode yet. The uh, scaly scallops are definitely not that present on this side of the beach, but uh, yeah, this is a beauty. He's got lovely, like, long scales on him. What? Hello, are you whole? Oh my goodness, you are whole. Hello, Mr. Bonnet. I actually uh, saw a bonnet further back, but it was, um, it had a massive break in it, so I left it behind. I w <laughs> this is very unexpected. I was not expecting to find another bonnet because um, they're very rare here. They don't live on the mud flats. They live further out on the reef, so having them wash ashore is very unusual, I guess. He is terrifically faded. It's kind of hard to tell which bonnet species he is. I will have to research that, but um, tentatively, I'm going to say he is a... Oh god, I don't know, a Japanese bonnet. Let's go with that. This guy is almost right next to where I got that bonnet from. Yeah, he looks very nice. I mean, these guys are always like a little bit rough, a little bit smooth. They don't have like their full textures anymore. But yeah, it is the first one of these today, like for this episode and the last one. It is a beautiful short-spined murex. I find a heap of these on this side of the beach, um, kind of closer to the mangroves. I'm still so far away from the mangroves. It is no joke how long they take to get to, but uh, yeah, oh my goodness, let's hope I find a few more of these today. That one's kind of got like a fresh color on the underside. Yeah, he's got, oh, I'm sorry, that was off camera. He's got a very nice color on the top side. It is a lovely pink and white curved half of a commercial scallop with a lot of like lovely red around that ring or around that edge right there. That a whole flat? Ooh, I was not expecting that to be whole. I thought that would be just be a piece. There's a lot of just pieces of flats that I don't ever really end up showing. Here we go. It is the flat side of a commercial scalp. I think that's the first flat side in this episode. Wow, this one's very nice. He's covered with sand, but he's got kind of like these lovely little like white spotches on, spotches? White spotches up there. Hmm, once again, this isn't uh, really the right side of the beach for these guys. I think I mentioned that in the last episode, actually. It is a little Flinders Venus. I'm just going to uh, collect up a couple of these if I happen to see them today. Okay, wow, he's one of the uh, the more spikier ones. Oh, he's definitely one of the more spikier ones that I've ever found from here. He's also got like a nice color. Um, It has been raining lately, so the shell might just have a lot of moisture in it, which is showing the, uh, the color better. Usually these guys are like shock white when I find them for being a bit sun bleached. It is another lovely long spined murex. Oh my goodness, that is definitely going into my backpack. I would not want to knock that in the chaos bucket. Well, I was originally looking at this because, you know, someone has tied this here for some reason. It was a point of interest. I was not expecting to see any good shells around it, but uh, right underneath this guy, look at him. Oh my goodness, isn't he a lovely baler shell? I've been finding so many good balers today, everyone. Like between this episode and the last one, oh, look at his little spike. He's a bit white, so he's lost like some of his color, but he's still got nice patterns. He's still got his tip. He has the whole lip. I mean, like mostly. Oh my goodness. Did I say what it was? Yes, it is another lovely baby baler shell. I think that is maybe very nice if it's whole. Yes, it is whole. There we go. Another lovely curved half of a commercial scallop. Oh, I also want this guy. He's got a very nice color. Um, oh, there's some kind of like rocky incrustation on the inside or sandy incrustation. Anyway, it is a little Australian jingle with a lovely golden color. Oh, stretch this one. Oh, wow. He has got like, <laughs> he has got things on him. Can I break them off? Yes, I can sort of break them off. Here we go. Wow, that is a lovely big scallop. It's not a scaly scallop. I think it might be a glory scallop. Oh, wow. A lot of shells caught here. This one caught my eye because, oh, look at the color on him. Oh. <gasps> 
I have been picking up so many of these guys. I don't want to spend too much more time on them unless they're super lovely. That is a very, very nice uh, big and banded land snail. What actually caught my attention semi first was this guy. Oh, he is hauled. You know, you never know until you pick him up. He's got a he's got a sandy incrustation that I'll have to get off with the uh, with the old pick at home. It is a lovely, large, scary murex. Well, I came to check out the shells that are just around this tire here. I'm not gonna like dispose of a tire, it can stay there. Got myself the first lined neurite with his full coloration. It is a mangrove snail. I'm expecting to find more once I uh, actually reach the mangroves. <laughs> also, when I crouched down, I saw him half buried. What do we think? Is he whole? Let's check, let's check. Ooh. Oh, goodness gracious me, everyone. It's another whole one, hold on. There we go, get the sand out of it. He is another very nice baler shell. Maybe a little bit white, like his color has faded, but his shape is all there. My goodness, I am doing very, very well on the balers today. And another murex. Today there are so many murexes. There are so many balers. There are so there are so many land snails. There are so many curved half of commercial scallops. There is just a lot of these guys. My goodness, these ones are usually the ones that I consider to be a more harder shell to find. But uh, I've not seen like more than one moon snail. But I'm getting a whole bunch of these. I'm sorry. I'm extremely pleased with how today's trip is turning out. And I'm not even at the mangroves yet. Ooh, another lovely. Yes, he doesn't have any holes. I can actually say that with confidence. Another lovely short spined murex. Oh, are you whole? Oh, he is whole. Oh, God. Okay, he's a little bit rough, but he is all intact. Um, this one is a droop shell that I don't often see, and I don't often see like all whole. Um, oh my goodness, which droop was it? Was it the uh the prickly droop like we get the prickly spotted droops down at uh the home beach i think this is like the prickly droop or the porcupine droop or something like that it's very very cool multiple goody time first of all we have lace coral here sometimes lace coral washes up in harvey bay although not as often as uh as what i find at the regular home beach just saw this one is he whole he's whole enough this is a land snail the solid amphibian snail i'm expecting to find better ones uh further into the mangroves but ah uh, yes everyone oh he's frilly it is yet another scary murex this one looks lovely and frilly i'm i'm just like in murex and baler and land snail heaven today. I was expecting to see these actually in the mangroves but we are finally at the mangroves. They are behind me. The mosquitoes are all around me and the shells are in front of me. We have a giant mangrove whelk right here. We have found all of our friends again. Yes, it is the live telescoped snails. Here we go. Yes, let's just take a look at one of them. There we go, big old boy inside. You can't see him because he's a black snail inside of a very black shell, but he is a live one. Same with, uh, my goodness, I don't know what's going on there. Same with all of these guys. Yes, we got a lot of giant mangrove whelks. Um, I don't, I, I've got no idea if that's a live one or not. They're absolutely everywhere. Hopefully I can find a few empty shells to take home today as well. Well, I am still looking at the back. I was going to take a mud whelk from down here. Um, cast my eyes aside. I'm sorry, here is a mud whelk. Cast my eyes aside. Oh, look at him. Oh, I mean, he's mostly whole. Actually, he's, um, he's about half broken. He's missing his tip and a bit of his final spiral, but I'm going to take him anyway. It is a decently sized, I mean, I'm going to say it's decently sized, a decently sized uh, precious wentil trap. Ooh, ooh, I was hoping for several of these today and I see two of them. Oh, I see three of them. Ooh, <gasps> I'm sorry, everyone. I get very excited for the neurites. Look at this guy. It is a violet neurite. He is faded to be all pink. He is freaking adorable. There is one here that's in not so good condition, but the, uh, the first one I saw is actually this guy. He looks like he's in very nice condition. Look at those lovely little scale patterns on him. He is beautiful. That is a big guy way at the back here. Um, the mangroves are like, I don't know, like 10 meters behind me. Yeah, he's empty. It is a fairly large and, and like unoccupied telescope snail, like the ones we saw in the mangroves earlier. Oh, and that one is, yep, yeah, this one is a giant mangrove whelk. Well, I've been uh, checking the various rack lines for piles of goodies, mostly like the usual kinds of mud snails. Obviously, always hoping to uh, come across a wentil trap. Are you like, do you have the tip? <gasps> He might have more of the tip than any of the other ones of these that I have found. It is a type of wentil trap. It is the Arabic wentil trap. Um, I've only ever seen them from here, I think. They're very unusual. Anyway, let's get my fingers crossed for some more wentil traps in the uh, 
various rag lines around here. Oh, is he maybe whole? Yeah, he is whole. Oh my goodness, he is a beautiful jeweled dog whelk. I'll be taking him. And I just saw this guy. Oh my goodness, please hope. Oh, please, uh, please hope that I don't uh, lose this in my bag. It is a teeny tiny violet neurite. Sneaky. It was hiding under the, uh, the sun bleached, not Wendell trap. It's an actual Wendell trap. Here we go. Got myself. Yes, he is lovely. They are, they are like everywhere in these like little mini like shell piles on the rack lines here. I think it's a little Filipino Wendell trap. Ooh, a nice splendid top shell right there. Still got some of his lovely colors, but you can't really see the patterns on him anymore. Oh, let's take a look at you. Oh, <gasps> That is, whoa, that is a particularly lovely violet neurite. Okay, I gotta stop nerding out about these guys. There's a very big faded one right there. I'm just gonna pick up a whole bunch when I see them, I think. Ooh, another little one. Another Filipino Wendell trap. They are just like uh, being very sneaky and hiding in these little uh, rack lines here. I don't know how many more I, could, I should show. I might just like pick up a whole bunch and show you at the end if I find more. Oh God, I promised myself I would stop filming these and showing you guys, but look at how heckin' pink this little one is. That is so heckin' cute. It's like, um, it's almost like a hot pink color. Well, I smooshed a pile away, just leaves and stuff, and this was like directly underneath it. My goodness, it is a triton shell. Um, they don't usually wash up here because, uh, they don't live on the mud flats. I live further out on the reef. I believe this one is a shouldered triton, maybe? I don't know. He's very faded, but it's in nice condi condition for this beach. Oh, let's pick him up. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, look at him. He's got most of his point as well. It is yet another Arabic Wendell trap. This is actually the third one. I picked up a second one that was quite small off camera, and I've been picking up a few other little Wendell traps as well. It's um, it's kind of back-breaking work to, like, bend over and look at these. Sometimes I sit down and whatever. But, uh, yeah, that is another very, very nice shell to uh, add to the collection. There is, um, gosh, this is going to be heavy to carry back. It's like an hour walk back to the car, everyone. Well, hello. We will take you. Yes, he's a nice size. He's like missing the tiniest part of his point, or maybe it just got worn away. This one is a channeled dog whelk. Um, he's definitely empty. There's just some crusty bits in there. It's uh one of the many dog whelks that we can find from here. When I say many, I mean like like four dog whelks. <laughs> whoa, I'm not keeping it, but whoa, is that a turtle bone? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's part of a turtle whale. I'm not sure. That is creepy. I cannot for the life of me remember if I've picked up one of these yet in this episode. Anyway, it is a lovely propeller arc, mostly because it's lovely uh, with that wonderful orange colour through it. Also, I am heading back now. We are supposed to get 20 millimetres of rain. Let's see if I can get to the car before that happens. Ooh, I am hoofing it back, but I just wanted to stop for this one. Ooh, he's very pretty. My goodness, it is two halves. It is two halves of one uh, orange cockle. There we go. He is very, very lovely. Should clip together. Yeah, because he's like with his other half. Okay, I really like that. I'm excited. If it sounds like I'm super excited, it's because the blood is pumping and I'm trying to get back to the car quickly. <laughs> See that gray in the distance? That's the mangroves getting hit by the rain where I just left. <sighs> I made it. So here are the shell finds for the other day. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Oh my goodness, everyone. This must have been a very long episode because there is a lot of shells here. And of course, it is time to talk about a favorite. So if you do have a favorite as well, please let me know down in the comments. First of all, I just want to say uh, I'm actually at the home beach. It is so wild to see all of the Harvey Bay shells at the home beach. It's kind of like spectacular in a way too. Um, my goodness, look at this. I found so many lovely scallops, heaps of lovely uh, turkey wings. There is a lot of lovely turkey wings on that side of the beach. I didn't really find many moon snails, but by contrast, I found so many lovely land snails. Absolutely wonderful. I got some uh, mud snails, some murexes, some more murexes some baler shells, some more murexes, some wendell traps, some neurites, some neurites. I got a bit of everything today. Oh my goodness. I do want to give a special mention to, I mean, maybe this one. I think it was the best murex for the day. He's just got like little swoopty spikes. He's just a bit nicer. So yeah, I'm going to give a special mention to this lovely short spined murex. I'm also going to give a special mention to the, uh, to the droop shell. He's pretty interesting, even though he's super sun bleached. Same with his little friend over here. They're very adorable. And um, my goodness, maybe a special mention to the uh, the lovely Arabic Wendell traps that I picked up today. I think I got uh, four of them, one, two, three, four right at the back there. 
And you know what? You know what? I got, I got a whole bunch of these too. Philippine Wendell traps. So yep, special mention to those as well. But as for my favorite, you know what guys? It's so hard to pick a favorite on a day like this. It's just like, I mean, do I pick a Baylor shell? Maybe that's another special mention. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just, I gotta start somewhere. I'm gonna give a special mention to this lovely land snail. I think he is the best of the bunch. Definitely like the colors on him. I'm gonna give, um, was that a special? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give favorites to a couple of the violet neurites here. Absolutely wonderful. This one's like kind of shiny. This one's faded to a pink color, but it's like a very vibrant pink. So I think that's very nice. So he gets a favorite as well. And the final favorite, because this is a long outro, everyone. Thank you for staying with me. The final favorite goes to this lovely zebra volley with his knobbly tip right there. I think he's absolutely wonderful as well. But uh, that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.